Welcome back. Let's continue working on the wave function collapse algorithm. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to be the, the, the focus of the whole stream today. Um, uh, we're going to continue working on uh, on the algorithm and then the, and the, I don't know if it's it's if it's research anymore. Um, given the fact that today I'm gonna do some some modifications to what we've done last time, uh, that are that are gonna be more focused on the on the actual implementation for the game. But um, but yeah, we're gonna continue with uh, with what we've done last time. And actually, I have worked some more uh, on it since the last stream, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done. Um, but yeah, uh, I have some some subtasks here for for today of uh, what we're gonna do. There are some, or at least one bug that we'll have to to track down and fix before we do anything else. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, let me show you what I've done since uh, since the last time, and um, we're gonna start working on. Uh, we're gonna start working on it. Okay, so um, two big changes, I think. There are two big changes since the last stream. So the first one being, um, uh, actually, let, let me see if I can, if I have. Yeah, so so here's an example of an output that we, we were um, putting in the console last stream so so last time we were using characters and we were displaying them in the in the console of the in the in, in, in unity in the console uh, and uh, one change that i've done since then is i've made it so that uh, um the um, how do you call them uh, the tiles are not uh, displayed in the console, but are actually rendered on the uh, directly in the scene with uh, proper game objects. So here you can see uh, the output is similar to what we've done, uh, what we had uh, previously. So the lines are the roads, the the edges are the houses, and the same thing is here. So we have the roads with all their corners and their crosses, and we have the houses represented by this. Uh, brown thingy and the grass obviously all around everything and um, one small improvement um, previously you had to, to restart uh, the scene or uh, re-enter play mode to to get a new a new graph or a new or a new grid with a solution now you have to click generate and it's gonna uh, re-perform the, the algorithm, it's gonna do everything uh, again. And yeah, yeah, for example, this is this is one of the bugs that we have to, to fix today, or the bug that we have to fix today. Um, for some reason, those those types of situations appear where uh, two, two cells that are clearly not supposed to be next to each other do end up uh, together so uh, yeah we'll have to see what uh, what's up with that okay so that that's uh, so this is one of the one of the changes and uh, the other one or the major one is I've tweaked the the algorithm a bit and Actually, I'm not sure if we, if I've done this last stream or if I've done this since the last stream. Um, yeah, not quite sure. But I, but but the, the idea is that I've uh, no no I I've done this last stream yeah. So so those uh, the the cells are have been extracted into into scriptable objects. They're they're not hard coded in the code anymore. And uh, the thing that I've added is this uh, this rotate uh, checkboxes. So 
what what those do is you can define a let's take for example a horizontal row so it would be a piece like this and you instead of uh, having two tiles one for for the horizontal row and one for the vertical row you can create only one of them and then you can use those checkbox to to basically rotate the tile so with only one declaration you basically declare two tiles you have the the basic horizontal one and then you, because the the rotate 90 is, uh, is checked um the in, in the algorithm the the the, the tile will also be checked uh, with a 90 degree rotation applied to to all it, uh, to all of its connections yeah okay um yeah so the, this uh, simplified uh the setup quite a bit because uh, we don't need uh, so okay for the for the road it was easy because there were there were like two tiles but for the for the corners we had four because we had four four directions or four ways the the the, the corners could uh, could, end, could end up or were for for the, for this and now we have one cell with all the rotate uh, checkbox is checked so we are rotating uh, we we basically get f all the four cells uh, based on single one okay um what else what else have i done uh i do have some other so so this is one i i've, I've played out multiple examples so this is one example that i that i have uh but i do have some other uh this is the f uh, this is fields which basically i'm i'm trying to let's say uh reproduce corn fields they're not really corn fields i'm just calling them that because i've made them yellow but uh, that's the only that's the only reason like basically you have enclosed areas of corn and then you have gr grass on the outside and the um the what do you call them um the brown uh, outline is uh, basically a fence yeah so uh this is another example and actually the process is uh, is uh, is the same tiles is actually uh, uh it's actually the same thing um well with different uh, different weights and stuff um and then the original one is this this uh, uh this uh, wave collapse tries to combine the the road and the fields um so basically uses or i think or, no, yeah no i think it uses all of them so here are five here are, no i think almost all of them um yeah it tries to 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 combine the 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 one with the roads and add the corn fields as well but um yeah see uh there are some problems so um you can see that uh, the algorithm said that uh, that it didn't find a solution which based on the on the cells that are here there should always be a solution or there should be a high probability of a solution um but that's not the case so um also a bit about a bit about what what's actually displayed here so the, so the red cells uh, uh th those basically mean that um the uh, th those those grid cells um have run out of options so so there are no cell types that can be placed in, in those spots which look at it, it sounds totally wrong there should be uh, there should be some cells that should be there i mean that, that, that that's the problem that we have to invent because for example you can you can look at this so so i'm i think the reason why configuration uh, the, the algorithm found no um, no no solution is because of this issue so here there should have been a a corner piece 
but for some reason the algorithm decided that no no this is gonna be a straight piece so so that's uh, that's one of the problems and i i but this is just my assumption but i i think that if we fix this bug, we're gonna have uh, correct solutions most of the time for for those those uh, cells as well. Um, sometimes we get solutions, sometimes we get partial solutions, but with uh, better coverage. Yeah, here's an example. We do have somewhat of a solution. There are problems still. So, for example, here uh, it shouldn't be like this. There should be a road sticking out of here, but yeah it is not it is not actually correct here as well so so there are there are problems with with the algorithm uh but i'm not sure exactly why those things are happening yet i'll have to figure that out and uh, that's uh that's the goal of today um trying to to see what why those errors occur? So here is a here is another another example with obviously wrong. So there there should be a fence. A, a, a cornfield a cornfield should always be uh, surrounded by by fence pieces. Yeah. So yeah, this is the, this is what we're gonna focus on today at first, and then we're gonna do some more uh, tackling of the code. Okay, so this is um, a look of what's happening, like what, what I've changed. Let's look a bit at the code as well. Um, yeah, let's look at a bit of the code, see what's, uh, what's happening here. Uh, one thing uh, that might be of interest. Um, yeah, so I created a, and also so something that I that I think I've done since then. I've uh, uh, moved some uh, some some classes into their own uh, into their own files. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to show was um, we we still have the functionality of uh, displaying the, the 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 grid in the console. Uh, but I've added the, the 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 option to to render the grid using what I've called the grid driver, which is the thing that drives the the actual placement of the of the tiles on the uh, in the scene. And this is this is basically almost the same thing as the 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 the, the thing that we've done the the this display grid in the in the grid where we've looped through through all of the grid uh, cells and we've uh, uh, displayed the correct character except that here instead of uh, doing that we're actually uh, instantiating uh, prefabs into the scene okay um yeah uh so um yeah we'll have to create i think we're, i think we're gonna create some new some new tiles maybe like 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 less tiles like maybe uh try with only two or maybe three tiles uh, to reproduce the issue i mean you can reduce the roads without the houses or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, here are my. Uh, here are some uh, some attempts of debugging stuff. I've I've. Obviously, I've reworked a bit of the a bit of how the the code works. I'm not sure exactly what I've modified since the last stream. Um, so one certain thing is the uh, actually where can we see that the grid, I guess. Um, so 
you, you we have those cell types, which which are the, the descriptable objects. And um, there's one thing that you can do with them. Um, you can. Uh, yeah, this is actually kind of a big thing. Um, Yeah, basically it can generate instead of instead of using those cell types directly we have this serialized cell type which is a simple class with uh, uh, most things uh, um, like um, yeah serializable class that's what i'm trying to say um and uh, yeah, the, the the cell type has a method called serialize, which gives you all the all, all the versions that you can generate. So the the original one, and in case you've checked uh, any of the rotation, uh, any of the rotations, you uh, give you that rotation as well. So based on on the cell type and what you've configured in it, it's gonna rotate the value and it's gonna give you that back. Um, yeah, actually there, there is one thing that I've added, now that I think about it, and I think we can, no, we're going to see it on the cornfields, yeah. Yeah, so let's see how can I explain this, so let's get paint file, and um, Okay, so let's say this this is a tile, um, and we have our fence. Can I make it uh, be filled? If I do this, is it filled? No, it's not. Um, Fill solid color. There we go. So this is our our fence, and on one side we're gonna have. Dang it. On one side we're gonna have grass and on the other side we're gonna have our cornfield. So that's that's perfect. Now let's duplicate this. Um copy paste. That's not actually let's try to make the, the selection right actually no from this side. Let's make it right on the edge. Like this. Okay, so when 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 the algorithm runs we have so so what the, actually how, the the way I've set this up is I have f uh, for, for 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 this uh, I we have actually three connections three connection types I mean so here at the top is gonna be grass at the bottom we're gonna have uh, corn. And on the sides, we're going to have fence. The reason, and, and uh, the same on the other side. The, the, the problem that, I, that I've encountered is because this whole side of the, of the cell is labeled as fence, that was happening was I was getting a tile and obviously you can put them next to each other like this and that is valid but you can also put it like this and it's also valid because the connection here on the right is fence here which is basically also the right side is also fence so rhythm says okay those those two connections are the same so it means that we can put those two tiles next to each other but that's not correct because as you can see here at the bottom we have corn but here on the bottom we have grass and uh, the 
the reverse thing uh, on, uh, on the top. So that's not correct. So what I've done, I've introduced the concept of, and probably is not, maybe 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 another word is uh, is more um, more correct for this. Uh, but um, basically, I, I said that action has a direction, and what that and what that means is basically um, if you, if you check a connection, what it does is basically says that okay, um, this connection by by default everything is like. Uh, hmm, how should I explain this? Yeah, no. So basically, I'm gonna assign direction to the to the to the to the connection, and uh, the way I do uh, I do this is the the directions are either clockwise or anti-clockwise. and uh, when you decide for a direction that it has a or for, for, for a connection that it has a direction what's going to happen is if you go to to a cell that has uh, that uses this connection you're gonna you're gonna have some uh, some new checkboxes uh, appear and here what you have to decide is basically the direction of of, of of that connection on on, on on that specific edge, being it on the on the east side, on the or the or the west side, and I've I've done them, I've labeled them as clockwise and anti-clockwise. So, so so in this example, we have the the east connection is anti-clockwise. I unchecked. So so on the east is gonna be like no, we're gonna it's. Can I make okay? Uh, it's gonna be like like this, and on the west side it's clockwise, so it's actually the same thing. It's gonna be god damn it! Don't I have undo? Yeah, it's like this. It's gonna be the same thing, but upwards as well. So, so this this tile has directions for the fence, and both of them looks like they're pointing upwards. And what's happening in the code is we're gonna have a tile, and this also has the, those those upwards upwards directions. Um, on top of looking at the connection. For it to be similar, I'm looking at the direction as well, and um, I'm looking uh, for the direction to also point in the same direction, or either both being um, um, clockwise or both uh, both of them being uh, anti-clockwise. So this connection would be okay because the way those are rotated, which are basically they're not. Rotated at, 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 at all. Uh, the 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 east side of this tile is pointing upwards. The 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 left side or the or the west side of this tile is also pointing upwards because that's how it's defined. So basically, th those two those two pieces uh, should join up perfectly. But if we rotate it at 180, the directions for this tile they're gonna be reversed. So now they're gonna be so now, okay, the connections on the sides are going to be the same, but the direction are going to be uh, pointing in the different directions. So that means for the algorithm, okay, those two pieces uh, or the, those two tiles can be placed uh, next to each other. Um, yeah. So, so this is the the solution I found uh, for for this. Um, Yeah. Um, and this, uh, yeah, there, there, there might be, even though I've checked, so so I don't think the, the error comes from this. 
but uh, yeah, um, this is another thing that I've added for exactly this this purpose of uh, if you have uh, those types of tiles. Um, for, for them to be able to to be placed uh, next to each other in a in a correct form, uh, formation. One one thing that I could have done, but it's not necessarily. I mean, it's not quite quite cool. Um, or actually, so so the problem. Uh, so so this problem arose because actually. I, I'm saying that this this whole side is a fence, but if you look at it, it's not actually the whole side that it's a fence, because here it is corn, here it is fence, that's correct, and here it is grass. So one way of dealing with this would be, but that that's like the uh, the easy way out is to make like the the um, the fence space be completely filled with with the, with the same type of of stuff, and then we can do the same stuff uh, as we did for for this uh, for this at the top. Let's say here, it should be connected to grass. At the bottom should be connected to corn, and uh, the sides are fence and fence. And now it doesn't matter if they're f actually no no this won't work either because even if I flip it um, even if I flip this even though the sides are matching and they're theoretically have the same connection throughout the whole side um, yeah no this this wouldn't have worked either yeah okay the the text are reversed but it's better. so e even though the, the, the those those edges match uh this will actually create a uh, a contradiction be because let's take the bottom or the, the south side here we would need something with corn uh but on the next tile which is this on the, on the right tile uh we're gonna have grass so that also won't it what uh Unless we have a, a, a tile that has uh, uh, both corn and um, and grass, and it doesn't have uh, the, the, the fence connection, it only has corn and grass. Uh, unless we have that, uh, the configuration actually won't work. Yeah, so no, I don't. I, it it won't work any uh, either way. So so the the, the direction concept. Uh, it is actually needed. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, trying to think how we can how we can test this. Um, Because ideally, I would need, or I, or I would want a. Um... Oh, I don't know why why there are uh, less tiles here. Because between the roads and the fields, there are uh, there are cells that uh, uh, that appear uh, twice. So here we have grass, and on the roads we also have grass. And I think in here, we have grass house, crossroad, horizontal road, the corner, cornfield, inner. Oh, we're missing a type. Oh no, that doesn't matter. No, because because we only want. Yeah, I I know I know why there are only only items. So 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 one thing is we uh, those two those two share share the the the, the grass cell, and I've removed from the fields. I've 
moved uh, this outer corner because uh, I don't want to have um, so the outer corner is basically this one here. So here where it's like it has corn on the inside and just a little bit of grass. I don't want I I I wanted for for this for this one I wanted to have only like uh, rectangular fields. So that's that's why. So yeah, that that's why there are only eight uh, eight cells, eight cells types. Yeah, there we go. So here there was a contradiction, probably be, be because of. Oh, now that's interesting. Could it, be, could it be that my problems are because of this? Is that even possible? So now I'm thinking about something else. Could it be that we don't have enough tiles and that's why we have contradictions? But no, that can't be possible. How could it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I have actually explained the. So the red, I said that uh, there are no no valid cell types left in that cell, and for the blue, um, there are still uh, more than one option for the algorithm to choose. So basically, the the blue part is not yet solved, but the the, the red part is uh, is. Uh, yeah, cut the, the the contradiction. Now that I'm thinking more about it, it might not be... Not... It might not be a... An, an issue with the algorithm. It might just be... I mean... The issue occurs because of how the algorithm is built. Or, or the way I, I've built it. But looking at an example like this, that that makes me doubt myself because okay, I understand if a cell gets left with no no solution, but a whole chunk like this, like that, that seems a bit too much for me. Yeah, um, I think what I'd like to do is let's try to see if we can reproduce this with a way, way, way smaller uh, grid, like 4x4. Four four. Thankfully, I can cycle through. Yeah, I saw one error. Uh, so there are some no solutions. Uh, let's try a three by three. So I, we might see even less uh, conflicts in here, but there are some sometimes. Okay, not. We might have to go with a four by four, maybe a five by five. Okay, let's try a. Let's try a five by five. Because what I what I do is um, just basically um, log every step of the of the algorithm and try to understand how it got to to a certain point. Okay, 
game, not even a 5x5 five five does the job directly. I mean, right now I want it to fail. Okay, uh, let's try with 4x4 four four again and see how many. Let's try to do like 100 runs and see how many errors there are. Not a lot. We got 8 no solutions in 100 runs. Oh, come on. Like, that's not correct. <laughs> even though this, even though he says this is a solution, this is not a solution. Okay. Yeah, we might. I, I was focusing on the no solutions ones, but I think uh, even even a, a grid like this uh, should do the trick. Okay, so let's. Um, I have a way of enabling logs, which is this. So hopefully, we're gonna generate a grid. And we're gonna see something interesting. Uh, let's put this uh, back on four by four. Let's clear the console and we will need as much space as possible. Okay, from the looks of it, oh no, there is one error here. We don't have a matching road, a road up there. But oh my god, it's gonna be hard to track. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, let's try... Oh, actually one thing that I see that might help us is if you, if you look at this, um, we have errors, but there are only roads. So we might be able to reproduce the error only with this one. Which would help out out with the uh, with a number of steps here. Yeah, let's try to reproduce this with uh, with the simple roads one, because there are less tiles, you know. Um, four by four again. Save. Uh, clear. Let's press play. That's uh, not helpful. <laughs> That's not helpful at all. Uh, another one. Not helpful. Come on. That's actually a very good one. This is actually a very good one because... But actually, let's make sure that we have... Yep, it should wrap vertically as well. So, so the obvious problem here, or at least for me, is that we have a road that goes down, 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 but here... It should wrap around, and it shouldn't be. But we have to check first. But a house cell needs to have grass at the top. So this cell shouldn't be shouldn't be a road cell because it doesn't fit with the house at the top and in, in the north. Okay. So now. Now we can look at the logs, and this is going to be the boring part in which I have to see what is going on here. Oh, interesting. Whoa, okay, that's actually very weird. Okay, now that, that's okay. This is very weird. So in the end, this cell was left only with the, the with a house, and it had no choice but to choose the house. Okay, so we we, we actually have to go from from bottom to top, I guess, to to to, to see how this how this evolved to be like this. So. 
in the previous step there was so here here's a horizontal road with a 90 degree rotation so which means basically a, ver a vertical road so at this step What? Uh, let's see where this comes from. Really, let's look at. Oh, wait. When I want to get a neighbor of a of a cell. How do I get a neighbor? Uh, it's actually in the grid, right? So let's say I'm a cell. I want to get the south neighbor. So I do a cell Y, uh, uh, the Y position plus one. Height plus height mod height. What does that mean? What does that mean? So somewhere. So in my case, it would be. So my, so my height would be four. I want to mod it by four, which would give me zero. I'm gonna add four. Then I'm gonna mod it by four again. So how in the hell? That's correct. Y with plus X. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, with the music, and that is double. Uh, what should we listen to though? The eternal problem. What should we listen to? Um, let's continue with Bad Wolves. Sure. Let's say Nations and let's do Disobey after that. Uh, add to Q. Sure. Okay, we're gonna have like maybe two hours of Bad Wolves. Okay, so. So this should work. Try to get a cell like this. That should work. Getting the south neighbor. Uh, obviously, everything here it is a bit hard to track. I'm gonna try to do my best. So, actually, let's look at the, uh, at the uh, let's see we have a uh, where I have uh, logs. So this is so so in the while loop we have a step. That's correct. We have and then we have the the propagate method. Okay. And in the propagate method we have the debug uh, debug, uh, debug cell call and this basically what it does is well, it has a prefix in case you need a prefix is that cell whatever its position is um, has whatever those options are that's basically it So the first cell after step is the cell that we've randomly chosen from the board, which in this case is one comma one, which is this one. Oh, one thing that that would have helped 
but yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Um, Like, like this, right? Because it's four by four. So one. Yeah, that's that's more or less a grid. Sure. The one cell here, another one here, and another one here. Okay, so us looking at the cell one one, it would mean that we're looking at actually go one step for, uh, forward. Uh, let's get this. Because now we can write on it and then we can remove uh, and not get rid of the of the uh, Guidelines. Uh, let's use orange. Yeah, so one one is this. Let's see if we can spot. So in the previous step, the one one had a either a, a cell ha or a, either a house or a horizontal road. Here it shows a. Uh, It had it had it had a choice of house or horizontal road or let's call it vertical road. It chose the vertical road for this. So that was set in stone. Then it looked in the north. Cell one one, it said it as a vertical road. Then it looked in the north. Yeah. I think I start to understand what a problem is. I think I start to see what a problem is. It. Then I think it does make sense. I think it does make sense. So based on this example, what we're seeing right here is no, 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 no. It is not correct. No. We have to see when is the first time. Or actually, no, the last time that this cell has appeared. Because this cell, like, which one is it? So it's 1 4, yeah? This is 1 4. So when this cell appears, this should propagate to the neighbor, which is, or the south neighbor, which is this one. And it should say that this cannot be a house. 
because the the bottom the bottom connection of this of this cell of this vertical road is of type the connection is of type road and the heart doesn't have a, a a road connection at the top it has one at the bottom so so yeah no 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 yeah the the, the problem is that this shouldn't have been a a, a heart in the first place this shouldn't have been a house. In fact, I mean, the way it shows those rows, there should have many houses on this uh, on this map. Yeah. Okay, so let's track the. So we're looking for the uh, one comma four. So it might be. Uh, that's not fun. It's I think it's one comma four. I can't find. I can't search it like this. Right. Um, let me just do a scan for it with my my eyes. I see a one. Oh no, it's one three, not one four. Uh, yeah, yeah, my bad. One comma three. So it ends up with a cell horizontal road or, or a vertical road because it's a, a 90 degree um, rotation. So what I what I would like to see is ah it doesn't remember selection. Okay, anyway here. Okay. Oh. oh, well, that's shit. Okay, I know what the problem is. I have. Okay. Okay, let me try to explain it. Um. So let's look let's look at this step. This is actually everything that we need to everything that we need to know is in here. So what's happening here? So we first select the one comma two one comma two cell. Uh, let's go here and let's see. So one comma two is one and two down. So we chose this one. And we set it is stuff that is a, a vertical road. Awesome. Then what do we do? We go look at the north cell, and I and I assume based on this that the, the and, and I and I can check if I if I really wanted to uh, that the 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 the, the and west cells are uh, actually set in stone as grass. So um, so that's that's the reason why why it's looking at the north and the, and the south cell. Yeah. So it's looking the north and it's uh, whatever doing some calculation. It says okay, the north can can either be a house or it can be a horizontal or a vertical road. So the north north cell would be this one. So this can can be a house or a vertical road, which is true based on those two those two things. That's correct. Then it looks at the south road uh, or, or the south cell and it says okay this can only be vertical road there's no other piece that we have based on the fact that on the on the left and the right side there is grass there's no other piece that can fit here with a with a, with a north connection of road okay so it's set in stone that one comma three which is this one must be a vertical road Okay, so far we are done with the one comma two cell and its neighbor. Then we go to the one comma one, which is this one. Whatever happens here, so so the one comma one uh, 
uh, has two options and then it goes to its north neighbor, which is this one. And it determines that because this has a uh, this, uh, the one comma one can be a house, uh, it can have grass on the top. Um, but because it can be a hori uh, or a vertical road, it can either have a house or a horizontal road. That's perfectly fine. Then it's looking at the one comma three cell because. Uh, after, after it, uh, so when it was looking at uh, what one two and it went to the neighbor, uh, we had to propagate uh, the, the changes from this to its neighbors. So now it reached one comma three, and then nothing happened. So what? So so, and I expect something to happen here. So what I expect here to happen is one comma three. Is this one right? So what I expect to see is okay. You can go back up because you've been there. That's that's the that's the one that uh, that that we previously looked at. But I expect you to look back down. To to look down, and in this case, looking at this, which is one comma zero. Okay, but the problem is because of how we set up the algorithm, we've already looked at one comma zero. We've already set in stone that we've looked at one comma zero. We've marked it as visited already. So when the time comes that we look at one comma three and we try to get south. Uh, it's a uh, south neighbor. We do we do ha uh, we do get the cell, but when we look at it, we see that, oh, it was already visited, so we're not gonna do anything with it. So now here comes the problem, because we're not looking at uh, the at, at this cell's south neighbor, and because this cell cannot be a, a vertical road. The one comma zero, its south neighbor. Um, we we won't get rid of, of of tiles that are not compatible with this. Because remember that we we, we want to we want to wrap this uh, vertically. So because we're not getting rid of this, the cell grass and uh, yeah and grass and the house tiles are still remaining on the one comma zero. As valid options for that tile, which is not correct. Because, because when we when we when we look at this cell, we should actually propagate back to this. Propagate. Look at the look at the neighbor and uh, and uh, do stuff on it. Ah. Uh... Okay. Now let's look a bit at the code and see what we can do. Because um, I thought I had an idea, but I'm not sure that's the right one. So here's the problem. Let, uh, actually, let's get exactly the. Let's look at the south neighbor. So this is what we care about, because that's the the, the key here. So we are at. We are at this tile, right? And we want to get the south neighbor and do stuff with it. Okay. We try to get the south neighbor, which we will be able to get because, uh, as I said, we are we are wrapping here. But because we, we've already visited it, this is gonna be false. Uh, can visit is actually if it. Yeah, basically, if 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 it was visited uh, previously, and if uh, we still have options left for for us to choose. Um. So yeah.
I have a guess of how we can fix this. But this might lead to a... No, this totally will lead to an infinite loop. Yeah, no, this will... This will totally lead to an infinite loop. Hmm... Actually, no, it might not lead to an infinite loop. Wait, can it lead to an infinite loop? No, it won't lead to an infinite loop. Oh, hello, Mohan. Uh, so, checking chat. I'm. I was really digging in, into this problem. Yeah, there's a there's a problem with, uh, with this algorithm that I've uh, researched for uh, for the past, I guess, two weeks. And I was trying to dig into the into the code and understand why why it doesn't work. Um, yeah, Marianne. <laughs> um, yeah, let me try this. I think I think this this will work. I'm pretty sure this will work. And if it doesn't work, uh, we're gonna just get the. We're gonna have to uh, end uh, end the unity process and start again. <laughs> have to do this for each and every one of them. I don't know if it, I mean it could be hated. I have no no clue. I I like it to be honest. Um, I mean I've used it for a bit now, for like I don't know. I think since 2016 maybe, and it uh, I'm quite comfortable with it now. So. Nice. I also do uh, web development, but uh, at my day job. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's not. It's not IntelliJ. It is, but it's uh, it's another product from from JetBrains. Uh, it's called Rider, and it's specifically made for for C sharp. But I do use uh, IntelliJ at work for uh, for web development, and we have some other things that that we do with with Java and stuff. So so it so I need IntelliJ. But it's easy, it's easy to confuse because the uh, the older older products look the same. I mean, I think maybe I would use. I mean, obviously I can use IntelliJ, but uh, uh, I think Rider has, uh, and only Rider has some some interesting in integrations with Unity uh, out of the box. Uh yeah, uh, I'm gonna uh, let me let me start a project. So the so the thing is, I am um, I am uh, as I said I'm interested in an algorithm, uh, and uh, it, it is for the game, but it's not quite there yet. I still have to do some things. Uh, so I didn't have the the the, the game project uh, open. So let me open it and I'm, I can show you the the, the progress. Uh, 
but yeah, so, so what I'm researching is, is an algorithm called wave function collapse. And let me show you what it can do and what's my idea of, uh, of or why do I want to use it? So basically what the algorithm does is basically you provide, um, you provide cells and, um, the connections between cells, uh, how, how, how they should fit together. And the algorithm can create you, uh, yeah, basically expand on, on the, on the rule set that you gave him, gave it, uh, and create different, uh, different things. So, so in those examples, uh, here you can see by giving some simple, uh, simple instructions, like simple images, then it can create, uh, uh, more complex results. Uh, I'm not sure if I would call it AI, but because it basically does random stuff. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, in no way you can call it AI. Oh yeah, as I said, based on a, based on a, on, on some simple rules, it can generate a different stuff. But that's not that's not or, or this is not the way I I, I want to use it. Uh, so so what I want to do is um, obviously I want to make our game prettier. So what what my intention is? Let me play the game for a bit and let me do a screenshot. And obviously the game is not what. Uh, Hello, Unity. Why no? Ah, oh, I know exactly what. I have to click on this, right? Now it's gonna work. Yeah. Okay, I have to fix that. Anyway, doesn't really matter because that's not what what I needed right now. So, okay, so this is your tower, right? This is going to be the tower and it looks, uh, it's going to look amazing because we're going to have different pieces for the tower. What I like to do is I like to dynamic construct, uh, things on the tower and by things. I mean, maybe I want some vines to grow on the side of the, on the side of the tower, or maybe I want cracks in the tower. You know, I want to dynamically create cracks on the tower. And that's, that's why, that's why I want to use this algorithm. In a way, what I'm doing is using the algorithm, this is gonna, this is gonna lead back to this of me being able to, to construct, uh, dynamic things on the on the tower and right now i'm only thinking of uh, of vines and, uh, and cracks uh but yeah but i'm still i'm still researching the the algorithm and seeing uh, how i can adapt it to, to what i want to do okay but let's get back to the to the game okay so let me maximize and let's play again so, so the game is quite, uh, in a playable, so I said maximize and play, uh, you can, let's go a bit up. Let's see if you can catch those, those guys. So you can, yeah, you have the tower, you have enemies that up the tower. You can place weapons on the tower. Let's say. This is a projectile weapon, actually, well, Gizmos, and it's going to shoot the enemies with some, some projectiles. Um, yeah, you, okay. So, so you can defend your tower, uh, you have the ability to, to, to upgrades. So for example, you have upgrades. I mean, is, is the only upgrade that we have currently, which is for upgrading the, the tower's health. So right now we have, uh, 
uh, 100 maximum health, but you can click on the on the upgrade and buy basically more more max health. Given given you have the you have the money for it, and um, it's gonna be PC for sure. Uh, we're we're still not sure uh, about mobile. Yeah, it it was uh, it was made with mobile in uh, in mind, but we're not sure we're gonna go to mobile only f only because of the the way the, the the market is for the mobile is totally different from the from the PC market. So we don't wanna we're not sure if we wanna deal with that, or at least not initially. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I can't take. Uh, Props for this. Uh, the the UI it, it was uh, it, it is a it is a paid asset that we've used and it's not final because we're not gonna keep it like this. It's more like a a transition uh, interface because previously we had I have just like basic buttons and uh, and uh, random text on the on the screen for for me to to debug stuff. So I just made something that looked a little bit better. So. So, yeah. so it looks better. Um, yeah, so uh, the game is it, it is in a playable state. Uh, currently, you have a single uh, type, this uh, this red sphere. Um, but that's just because we we haven't got to to implement them. Uh, the, the the system is in place, but we haven't got to to the part where we add uh, different types of enemies. Um, and yeah, you so yeah yeah you have you have this. Um, you can kill the enemies. You get coins if you if you kill the enemies. Um, after you kill the enemies, you advance to the to the new wave, and you have a basic cooldown between them. And if you want, let's say I'm 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 tired of uh, I'm tired of this uh, of this uh, of this level. Um, when you finish all the all the waves necessary for the for the for the level, you you get this button to to go to the next uh, to the next part. So you click on the on the expand uh, on the expand tower button, and the new piece of the tower appears on top of the old one. And basically, this is your new new playing field from 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 this point forward. So instead of the enemies coming from down below where where they were coming from uh, previously. Um, they're gonna start spawning. I don't know something ar uh, somewhere around here. Not sure. Uh, if I press start level, yeah, there we go. Now we have enemies coming from this new part of the of the tower. Let's actually put the laser so we can kill them. Okay, one got away. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's it, it is in a in, it is in a playable state. Um, we have to add uh, uh, the content that we've uh, we set up to do, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the what I call the foundation of the game is there. Now we have to add. Now we have to add the content. I, actually, yesterday I've done the. Uh, I've done some some more planning for for what's to come, and there's one part that we haven't done at all, which is the you you will be able uh, so on top of having weapons that uh, that automatically should the should the enemies uh, you'll be you will be able to 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 kill the enemies by hand. You'll have three types of powers. Uh, the the first one being a laser. The second one is is gonna be like some 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 kind of explosions so uh, it's gonna uh, it's gonna damage uh, more enemies uh, within a radius and the third one it's not gonna be lethal but it's gonna allow you to to slow down the enemies um and then after that yeah we'll have to add the the, the the different types of enemies that we that we want to implement currently there are five of them we will see if we if we're gonna add more of them. 
and yeah, that's kind of it. So so there's there are not a lot of things to add. It's basically like uh, it, it, we now have to add the content for the game. That's that's basically it. We have to add the content. The the hard part, as you said, the, the hard part is uh, is done. Now I'm trying to make, yeah, as I'm researching this algorithm, I'm trying to make this look pretty. We're going to start adding, uh, we're going to uh, start making the, the, the tower look prettier because right now it's uh, just a, a cylinder and it doesn't look that great. We're going to add different details to the tower, so it's going to look uh, more beautiful. But yeah, the hard, the hard part is, uh, is actually done. Or a big chunk of it. Okay. Now, where were we? Um, oh yeah, so, I, so I've done this. So now, maybe, just maybe, we will be able to... Uh, Retry this. Actually, is it, is there something that I need to do before I click this? Um, I don't think so. Um, let's clear this and. That looks good. And on top of it looking good. Uh, we didn't have an error, which is nice. Uh, let's try to regenerate. Now here, now here we did have a, we do have a problem. Another question is, could this, could this have been avoided? as the important part could we no the question is no we couldn't have avoided this problem this cell there's no cell we could have put here uh to to, to make this to make this correct because there, there's no cell that has a connections on the uh, a road connection on the right and grass uh, on the other edges so this might look promising or this might be promising i mean Right now, I think the, the the problem that we have is that uh, that we don't have a uh, we, we are missing um, we are missing tiles. So there are situ oh yeah, that's a problem. There is a problem. Okay, so there are still some issues. Okay. So do we still have some issues to 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 fix? But let's try to do a. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm gonna take a short break. Uh, be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, uh, so what I was trying to do is I'm going to disable the logs. And then we're going to do a, a, a bigger a bigger grid. Let's see, uh, 20 by 20. And see how how that looks. Please don't tell me you're stuck. No, you're not. Thanks. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Here are the logs. And let's do a 20 by 20. Yeah, okay, so we. Ah. Yeah, that's not right. He could have gotten a corner. No, can he? Because because if there were, if the algorithm chose, where to choose? Yeah, yeah, this might be a valid. Thing. Let's let's try to generate another one. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, you and we consistently get <laughs> a no solution oh that's another one that i was thinking that we might need okay um it seems that we are missing some tiles so let's create them uh, let's create those tiles um let's see i'm gonna what am i gonna do let's duplicate Horizontal road. Uh, or let's, uh, let's see. Um, let's just make this smaller. Something like this. And we're going to push it by 0.25. Yeah. Okay, let's create a cell type, dead end, uh, dead end road, it's going to have grass directions, and it's going to have a road in the east, we're going to rotate it in all directions. Put it away at the weight of, of one, and the other piece that we need is let's make it from a crossroad. That's how it's pronounced. Junction. Is that the correct? Now uh, it looks like, yeah, okay, that seems fine. Okay, so T junction, where is it? Here. Um, make this uh, 0.5, 0.25, and that looks fine. Read the, the cell type, uh, the junction, okay, it's going to have uh, a road everywhere, actually, let, let's drag it because it's easier, it's going to have a road everywhere except in the west, it's going to have grass, let's put the weight of one. Let's rotate it in 
all the directions. Yeah. And now let's add it to the algorithm. So T junction and dead end. And also let's add it to the renderer. So T junction, it's gonna have T junction and uh, dead end. It's gonna have dead end. Let's save and now let's try it again. Now this looks like something. Yeah, it doesn't look good, but at least we have a solution. Um, yeah, this is nice. Um, let's make it so that the horizontal road, it does have a, a a bigger weight. Let's put a weight of 10 on it. Let's put a weight of 10 on the corner pieces and on the... Actually, let's... Uh, ah, let's make the crossroad a big... Let's have it, a, have it have more weight. Yeah, let's try it like this. Let's see if we, ha if we have uh, more... Uh, connected roads now we should have more connected roads yeah there we go i mean they, they, they still don't do they don't do a lot of sense but but still they're more connected okay but then again we can uh we can decrease their number by making the or increasing the weight of the of the grass so let's see There we go. Cool. Another thing is this takes significantly more to compute. But it's okay. I'm not concerned with uh, with performance, at least not now. Uh, because for 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 what I'm gonna need this. Um, I will generate this once, and then I'm just gonna forget about it. Uh, and also, I'm going to try to do it on uh, a separate thread, so not on, on the main thread, so uh, there shouldn't be any issues with uh, uh, with it uh, blocking the main thread. Okay, but um, let's uh, see how it looks now with the, with the big boy. Let's see. It looks combined with the fields. Uh, let's add those new cells here. So uh, T junction and uh, dead end road. Dead end here as well. T junction. T junction and dead end. Uh, dead end. Uh, uh, that won't work. I have to enable this. And it would be helpful if I would make this bigger. Let's see how long this takes. I'm expecting like maybe 50 seconds. Nine seconds. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. But this looks nice. This is unavoidable, I think. Um, yeah, I think this is 
avoidable. We, we we can't have and we won't have. So so I'm not assuming in this case uh, I needed some some other pieces of uh, sub tiles that would combine the road with the fields, but I don't I don't really care at this moment about this uh, because. Um, Uh, this algorithm will be it it will be used for for something much simpler than than this. I mean, actually, you know, simpler in the sense of I think it will have just a couple of tiles, maybe. Actually, no, it could be. Maybe eight tiles at most. Maybe less. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about those those type of errors. And that, that's anyway. This is this is something that comes with the algorithm. So based on how you implement it, you will get you you. you you, it, it, it's because of how it works. You you will get sit situations where you won't have, or you will get a contradiction, and you won't have a solution. And uh, depending on, yeah, what 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 uh, what your needs are, it might just be easier to 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 try again. There are solutions for. Uh, Recording all your all your all your actions, and if you get to a contradiction, just get back a couple of steps and try again with uh, with another with another tile, maybe at a at a previous step. So you don't have to recalculate everything, but I don't think I will need that. Okay. I, I I like how this uh, how this looks. Oh, let's try the the field again. Let's see if the the fields look better in any way. Um. So the fields are only fields only only the the, the corn field without the uh without the roads and the houses. Okay, we got some. And this might be just uh, our bad luck. Let's try to generate again. Also, one other thing that uh, that we are doing here and that I won't do in the in the game is that uh, we are uh, wrapping those tiles both vertically, uh, vertically and horizontally. But in the game, I only needed to. Uh, horizontally so a more uh, uh, more correct solution would be this so I mean accurate solution is to have uh, the, the the vertical vertical wrap set to false and uh, this will only ensure the it's it's uh, dialable on the on the horizontal axis That is bad. Yeah, so there there are still some issues. There are still some issues, but it seems there are, there are far less issues. Uh, 
than there were previously. So it seems. It takes a, a lot more time, that's for sure. I think for the 20 by 20 previously, it was like, it was taking like maybe two seconds. What about two seconds? But obviously now it's taken a lot longer because we're visiting more uh, more neighbors. And we might end up visiting the same neighborhood uh, or the same set multiple times during a step because of how the propagating through the cells. Anyway, let's try. Actually, let, let me try something else. Um, let's duplicate the roads. What I'm gonna do is remove the house from the list. Just see what happens with this. It looks good. I mean, no. We're, we're finding solutions. But the thing is, uh, I think we have all the possible tiles that we would need. So, so that helps. We have we have all the variants tiles for for. There are not to be any any conflict, and it's quite a simple. It's quite simple how it's constructed, with only basically two types of connections, with only grass and road. Okay, so for now, uh, the, the 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 biggest problem that we had it is solved. So I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so apparently one thing that I've done is I forgot to start the the timer for this. That's not a problem because the stream and I can say, okay, I've worked for what? One hour, uh, one hour and 42 minutes already. And now we can track the time. So now we're going to do a bit of refactoring to the code. Um, the, the the place where I want to end up, uh, end up at is, I don't want to use a, uh, a square, a square, I mean, yeah, a square grid. I want to use uh, this, of uh, this type of uh, grid, uh, this triangular uh, tiling. Um, so we have we have to do a bit of, of refactoring of the code. So first, I would like to to separate the algorithm from the actual grid. So because right now the, the, the both the algorithm and the, the, the grid are stored in the same class. And I would like to separate that. Uh, the second is we're going to generalize the algorithm. Um, what that means is right now we have stuff like the north neighbor or the south neighbor, which are uh, uh, which which do make sense for a for a square grid. But for for triangles, those those two those concepts uh, make no sense. So so I have to change this to make it somehow generic in how it deals with uh, with with neighbors. And after we've done those 
simple things we can create uh, the triangular grid and that's gonna be gonna be fun because we'll have to um, we will have to create new new tiles and I think I'm gonna actually create some some tiles that we can actually test with like uh, I mean obviously test with but um, like tiles that I would using the game that's what i mean and uh, the, the last thing which i thought about uh, uh, is to, to to have it um so we so we have some some calls in here so there is this random call random range and it's this one and I'd like them to have, uh, or not use this, but or, I don't know, use a use an RNG with the seed. And if I provide the same seed, uh, I want to have the same result, basically. Because I might need that for the game. Um, so yeah, those are those are the things that we're gonna work on next. Hopefully we're gonna be able to do them all today. Not sure. Uh, depends on, on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how, how much this uh, generalization is gonna take because I'm I, I don't have a clear idea of how I want to do this. Uh, the triangular grid that's gonna be interesting with its neighbors. Uh, I have an idea of how to. To calculate its neighbors, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be tricky. And this uh, this RNG seed that's gonna be easy, but uh, we have a long way till then. Code. Okay, but first we have to deal with this. Um. I think I'm gonna keep this like, I mean, I'm gonna keep this grid class with exactly how it is right now, and then I'm gonna create new new classes um, with the basically I'm gonna duplicate code, uh, and I'm gonna keep both implementations so I can compare the the two, the this one and the the, the new one. So let's start with. Let's call this wave function collapse. I already have a wave function collapse here, but anyway, so this is going to be wave function collapse. Uh, how do I want to separate this? Um, actually, no, I think I'm going to, I think I want to start with the, with the grid. Gonna have a square grid. Okay. Let's put this. Let's uh, play those two. So a lot of things from here we're gonna keep, uh, or, or I mean, actually we're gonna transfer over. So this being one of them. Um. The initialization is gonna be the same. It's gonna do the same thing at least for the for the square grid. Square grid, uh, select many, let's import, because we have that. Uh, we don't, I don't think we need a size. Maybe we need it. Yeah, we might need it now, yeah. Okay, uh, propagation helper, yeah, that that's something that we don't need. Not in the grid, at least. So we have the option. We have the grid. Uh, 
we have it's width and height. We're gonna need those two. And uh, something like this. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to specify if you want to wrap this or not. Um, We're gonna make methods for for change the the values for those, but we don't care for now. Let's look at the cell actually. What does this look? Okay, so it has some options. It has a position. It has the visited thing, and that's kind of it. Okay, so that's fine. Don't, we don't need to change anything on a cell. Get a random cell type, we don't care about that. We don't care about the solve. I think that's everything that we need for the grid, I think. I mean, actually, we need those things, but I have to think of how I make them in a uh, generic way. And now, now we can read this. So, wave function collapse. Let's create a let's create an interface. I don't know where we're, where we're gonna put in iGrid, but it's gonna implement iGrid, and we're gonna get here an iGrid grid private iGrid grid. Okay. We'll have the grid and okay, that's everything that we need, right? I think that's that is actually everything. Let's copy over the solve. Loop. We're gonna look on grid for those values. Hopefully. Uh, oh yeah, I should look on the grid for those values. But I have to implement them on the but I have to specify them on the iGrid. Um, you can do that. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what I need to say that this is a getter actually. Because that's exactly what it is. But it has a getter. Okay. We will need to do, we will need to do some logs. Let's copy over the the log methods that we have right here. 
Yes, okay. We need a name. So I'm gonna get an in, uh, in index, and I'm going to do nothing. That's it. Um, public string get get option name index. Uh, Options of index dot name. So here is going to be read uh, option name of I. Okay, so we're done with this. For each cell read, you should do that. Yeah, that won't work. We need to implement for each. In the grid, and we need to find it here. And do grid at for each cell, cell that visited equals to false. Okay, get random cell, get random cell type. Yeah. I think this is gonna, but it doesn't make sense to stay on to to have this on the grid. To be honest, but yeah, I think I'm gonna put this on the grid. Fortunately, but just for now. Okay. Not private, it's gonna be public. So here get random cell type is gonna come from the grid. And get random cell also is gonna come from the grid. Actually, uh have we moved that over? No, not yet. Uh, where is it? Get random cell. Put it here. Public. Read dot that. Okay, so we have this. Now we have to move to the propagate method, which is the big one. Not sure how we're gonna deal with this, but okay, so we need a propagation helper. Sure. Let's get this over. To initialize it, uh, so let's see. Propagation helper is this. 
So we get the grid and then grid dot. When I move those, oh, we need to move them to here. This is also a getter. So width times read height. Oh, damn it, read height. Okay. And now comes the fun part, which is not fun at all. How do we deal with neighbors? Yeah, not sure how to do this. One option that I'm thinking of is instead of having those walls or those those lines of code here, maybe it would be interesting to have them on the grid. Maybe. What does the propagator neighbor do? Let's close everything that we don't need. Okay, here is propagator neighbor. This definitely has to stay on the grid. Well, it should be on the grid, I guess. Actually, no, it doesn't have to stay on the grid. It can be part of the wave function collapse. Sure, how to do this? Not sure. One thing that I want to actually no, skip it for now. I'll have to get rid of this sometime
void. Uh, is that the right file? Yeah, is where I want to do my stuff. For each neighbor of cell, I'm gonna get the cell and the neighbor. And I'm gonna need the. I'm gonna return this compare function. Gonna be no. It's gonna be system function of cell and cell, and it's gonna return a bool. A is not what I think it is. What is A in this context? Uh, not here. Here. What is A? 
Oh, it's an option, so option would be a serial ISO type of. Okay. So we need this. This is for east. This is for sure east, yeah. And the last one for east. So it's the current cell, the neighbor cell, and the Better method? Oh no. Wait. Oh. Here I have to add it. No. Like this. Like this. Yeah, now it works. Okay, so let's see what do I have to do. So let's copy over the propagator neighbor method. So I need options. I need a way of getting an option from the grid, I guess. Uh, let's rename this to get option, which is gonna be a serialized cell type. Right? I think it's a serialized cell type. We'll find out soon enough. Pretty sure that's what it is. Serialized cell type, yeah, that's right. We have to change this to get option. Uh, Name here is gonna be grid that get option of I and of J. Get option of J. Okay, so here we're gonna do propagate the neighbor, the cell, the neighbor, and the comp. Fair method. We're gonna debug the cell N. Neighbor, some neighbor. Uh, and then we're gonna do this. And Okay. See that's gonna work. Hopefully. Did this work? I don't know. Hopefully it's gonna work. Um Let's set those to, let's put it on true on horizontal and there's the false on vertical. And no, it's those anymore. Okay. Actually not yet. Now let's go here and let's try to use this. Very great. What do I need to provide? So 
with green with with hot and cells wave function collapse new wave function collapse I need to provide the grid grid then I'm gonna do my function collapse that solve and I need to render it somehow fortunately our grid render um, I think I'm gonna duplicate this I'm gonna call it square grid render maybe Oh, and actually, no, one thing, I'm going to copy this. I don't want to break everything I have, so I'm going to duplicate this as well. Here, we're going to have a... So this is a square grid renderer. Uh, what does it need to work? Uh, not a lot of stuff apparently. Where does it need the grid? Where does it? Where does he uses the grid? Oh, I uses it for the for each and the options here. Oh, that is awesome. So here, this is gonna. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, now I need, this needs to be a square grid. Um, your option of option ID, the square grid. Do I still use this? Oh, God, damn it. Add option. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's put two in here. And now everyone is happy. Yep, looks like everyone's happy. A function collapse two. Um, square grid renderer. Let's do the most simple thing that we can only add grass. Let's do a five by five of grass. Uh, I need to change this to be a square grid render and actually use it. Grid render dot render grid. Like so. Uh, is it grass? Grass? What the hell have I called? I think it's called full. Grass? No, it's empty. Whatever. Close enough. So. Empty. Empty. Error. Error. Um, unsolved. Unsolved. Size is going to be 1. Save. Uh, let's click this. Ta da! We have something. Let's make this bigger. Let's make a 20 by 20. Hello! This is working! This looks like it's working. Let's add another cell type. What should we add? Uh, let's add the corner. Um, 
cell and E road. Cell and E road. And cool. It is actually trying to solve the, the thing. I mean, it fails because it doesn't have the, the cells that it needs, but. Hell yeah. Let's try to do something. Let's try to copy the data from this. It might not work. And try to paste it in here. No, I can't paste the values. God damn it. Oh, but I think I get something else. I can copy the values in here and paste them in here. Actually, that's what I wanted to paste. Hello. Actually, I wanted to copy them from the root only. Um, yeah, copy, paste, and the renders as well. Copy and I can paste it here. Come on. What? Why? Copy. Oh, that's stupid. I have to add them manually. So there are six items. But first, let's get some more music in here. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. So grass, uh, grass, crossroad, horizontal road, uh, NE, so the corner, T junction, and the dead end. Let's Lock this. Uh, let's go to cross. Uh, this is where is it empty? Empty uh, crossroad is this one. Uh, horizontal is this. And it's corner road. Uh, T junction is T junction ended end here. Let's try this. Hello, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is awesome. So we've successfully uh, split the code, uh, the code of the grid itself and the algorithm. This is Nice, nice, this is actually quite good. That means we've separated the grid and the algorithm and also generalized the algorithm because we've done that, I mean, the, the part with the numbers, that was the, the, the part that we've generalized, so this. So it doesn't matter how many neighbors there are. I'm just gonna get the neighbor. I'm gonna get my compare method that I need for the for the propagation to work. That's it. 
Now the next thing that we need to do And the part that it's not gonna work that well, I think, is to make that this triangular grid. This won't be fun, cause I thought just by doing it, uh, just by generating this, having a, 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 oh no, I can use it actually, but I have to do some hacky things. I think I can hack my way through this. Uh, so the problem is, uh, the way we've set up our cells, or, or more specifically the cell types. So let's take, uh, so this is the crossroad, doesn't really matter. Uh, the, the, the cell type has hard-coded four neighbors for the north, south, east, and west. But if we have a triangular grid, well, that doesn't hold up anymore because we only have three neighbors there. So I think I'm going to hack my way through this and use the same cell type, except uh, I'm not going to use, um, for example, the, the, the south, uh, the south neighbor. So basically I have This is gonna be the triangle. Actually, let's. Uh, flip it. Okay, it's gonna be like this. And we're gonna use the north uh, connect here. We're gonna use the, the east connection here. And obviously the, the west here. And we're just gonna ignore uh, the the south connection because it doesn't exist. I mean, not for a triangular grid. And when I'm gonna re-implement this in the game, I mean, when I'm gonna move over the code, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the cell type to only have three three neighbors. But for now, just so we can have uh, both. Uh, both types of grids, both the the triangular one and the square one. Yeah, I'm just hack my way through it and do it like do it like this. So yeah, it might have in like I don't think I don't think it's gonna take long. It might have in like a couple Maybe maybe half an hour. We might have a, a working triangular grid. I still have to 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 find out how to how to get the neighbors. I have to think about how how the how the how do the co coordinate system work um, works in the in the triangular grid. But anyway, yeah. So this this will be. This will be nice. Okay, um, I am going to sh I'm going to take a short break, maybe like five minutes, and we're going to continue with the with the triangular grid. So stay tuned. See you soon.
Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. Okay, so yeah, let's try to make that triangular uh, grid and see see what's happening. Uh, what's gonna happen? Should just work, hopefully. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Gonna create a triangular grid. It's gonna extend I grid, and we have to implement a bunch of stuff. And actually, most of the things I'm gonna copy over from per grid because they're gonna be similar. So this thing is gonna be similar. So let's just replace this. Uh, uh, this is going to be similar, uh, was probably, maybe, yeah, yeah, that's going to be similar. Uh, let's see, uh, we're going to have a, uh, blah, 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 blah. public triangular grid, copy over those things as well. This is gonna be the same. Those things we won't have. This is gonna be the same. For each. Rich neighborer. Yeah, that's this is the the most important thing that we're gonna implement. Get random. So, um, same stuff. Oh, we have system. Why do we have system? We shouldn't have system there. Because of this. I don't like uh, having system imported, so. Because it messes with my, my random. Is really annoying. Uh, random cell type, same stuff. I may just do instead of implementing this I grid, I may just do a like an abstract grid or something that has those things implemented already, which might be a good move, but uh, we don't care right now about this. Okay. So let's see, what do we have to do here? So the first thing, um, let's get, uh, I, I, I don't have that anymore. Um, okay. That's way of, that's one way of doing it actually. But will this do what? No, this won't have the same effect of like like what I need. Yeah, no, it it won't do the same thing. Um, let's just use this. Uh, open image in your tab. Okay. So, so 
So what I'm trying to, 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 to see here, or what I'm thinking about is, obviously the width, the width is the width. It's gonna be uh, as many, like, based on the number that I put on width, that's how many um, that's how many columns we're gonna have. That's obvious. What I was trying to see is, uh, actually, let's, let's make a picture of this and let me draw a bit over it. How this is gonna look in the game. Um, on black it doesn't work let's use maybe red uh, my lines are awful but so those are the pieces that we're gonna use. The, the ones below the below the the, the red line, and it's gonna, we're gonna have the same thing here. No. Uh, no, no, no. It's gonna be like this. I mean, it's 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 hard to do straight lines with the mouse. Anyway, yeah, that's the, that's the idea. And then the part below we don't care about. Only only above this. Actually, I don't like that. That looks like shit. I'm just gonna keep those lines. Yeah, so we want this to we want those pieces to be stable, so you can so you can take another piece like this, uh, divided the, the the pieces divided by the red lines and stack them on top of the, on top of each other. So so if if here on this line uh, this is pointing down, it should be pointing down as here as well. So they if you stack them they they fit uh, perfectly together and because of this i think we're going to have the same number of uh, of cells on each uh, on each column because each column is have so if you go, if you look at this pattern each each cell on the left so let's look at the first two columns each cell on the left has uh, has a match or a pair uh, in the in the in the right column so this is a match for this this is a match for this and so and so on and so forth until the bottom where this one has a match in this one so they have the same number of columns or the same number of cells in each column. So what we've done right here, um, where is it? Where we said that the, the, the grid size is uh, the width times by the height, that should be fine. Those, those should be all the cells that we need for this. And one thing that we can, yeah. Yeah, that, that could be a way of visualizing this even, even better. Let's try to make the let's try to make the renderer for this triangular grid. Um, uh, let's get the square renderer. We're gonna copy some things over. Actually, this might be a bit harder to do than I anticipated. 
uh, yeah, this is a model behavior. Import everything. Uh, this is gonna be a triangular grid. Everything is gonna be the same except for this. This is gonna be the only thing that's, that needs to change, the position of the cells. Oh, one other thing that, that we need to take care of. So for the, where's my thing? So, so, so as I said previously, I, I want this to, to or, or I want the algorithm to wrap um, the tiles horizontally. So, so this tile should uh, connect correctly to this tile. And given this, uh, and the fact that I want to keep this pattern, uh, we need to ensure that our uh, that the number of columns is always a multiple of two. Because if it's like, um, so this is the first column, this is the second, and we have the third. If you want to wrap this round, uh, this line doesn't match with this line because you'll have. So you'd have this line, and if you would want to wrap it, it would be like this, which doesn't make sense. So you have to make sure that the number of columns is always a multiple of two. So that's one thing. And I think we're going to, we, we need to... Fix this in place as well. Um, let's say always the, the, the first piece in the grid is like this. So it's always with, uh, with a straight piece on the left, on the straight edge um, on the left. Because those, those two things we're going to need for, for this in here. Ah. Uh, oh my God! I, we're, we we need to check so many things. God damn it! Um. Okay, so let's think, um, how do we determine the, the way the, the, the tile should be oriented based on the position? How do we do that? So first, so basically, we want to know if if we want if we need to flip or not. So let's say by default uh, the tiles should be like this, and we want to know if we if we flip it so we can put them like this. Okay. So first, we need to know if we're on an even co even column or or not or an even column. Um, so if we are on odd column, we shouldn't flip it if it's the, like the first one. So first we need to do okay. 
think it's going to be 1 minus cell dot x mod 2. But if it's the first column, mod 2 is going to give us 1, but, I, we, but we don't want to flip it, so we're going to do 1 minus. It's going to give us 0. If it's on if it's on a, on, on a an even column, yeah, mod two is gonna give us zero, and we actually want one because we want to flip it because this is this is the even column and this is like a, a flipped piece. Okay, but on top of this, based on the Y position, Add based on the Y position. I think we also have to do this because for for the first in the column it has to be zero. For the second, it's going to be flipped, so it's going to be 1. Yeah, I think we have to do the same thing. God damn it. Okay. If those both are even... Uh... This is even and this is even. This shouldn't be flipped. So the whole thing would be mod 2. Let's try to do that. Let's do this. Let's do the debug log of um, cell x. Uh, cell Y and flip. Flip equals zero, then false. Oh no, if it's one, and just like this. Honest, I want to write true or false. Okay. We don't care about prefabs, we don't care about anything actually. I just want to go through all the cells and see what's happening there. Okay. One thing we need to, oh, we need to duplicate this once again. The three there, the three, um, not square but triangular grid render, um, triangular grid. We won't make this uh, right now. We're only gonna render the grid. So let's see that. It empty. More function collapse triangle. Uh, 
collapse tree. Let's do a let's do a two by uh, let's do a two by three. Angular grid. Save this. Like clear, let's clear the console and let's play. So zero zero false. We can actually have the where's my image? So this one. You can actually look at this and compare. So so this is this shouldn't be flipped, this should be flipped, this shouldn't be flipped. Now this should be flipped. This shouldn't be flipped. This should be flipped. Yep, yep, yep. The, the the calculations are okay. So so those things uh, do give us the, the the right thing. Okay, one thing down. Now let's actually uh, try to uh, show something here. So let's create some three object. Uh, Grids. No, not pro grids, pro builder. I need to create a, a, a triangle. Or like something that looks like a triangle. Uh, pro, pro builder install. Oh, they've actually got rid of pro grids. They've actually. Interesting. I mean, I know that I know that Unity has uh, the grid functionality of Pro Grids, but I have no idea they've actually removed it from the package manager. But it does make sense. Okay, so let's make those things. So now I can make. Actually, no. Let's go to Tools. No. Yeah, Tools Pro Builder. Um, this one. Let's have it somewhere around here. Let's make a new shape. Uh, and it's going to be a cylinder with three sides. I mean, one three sides. Freedom? Is that what I. That doesn't look uh, like that. Uh, oh, that looks good, right? So the thing is, what I, what I what I need right now is a uh, I want a. Test it very easily. Uh, it needs to be an uh, equilateral triangle. I think that's, that's how I pronounce it. Uh, we have a ruler here, so we can actually see. I mean, it would have been great if they had like freaking number on it, but okay, that, that's not something that they do apparently. Um, and I can have multiple. No, I can't. God damn it, that's so stupid. I mean, I actually wanted to measure something, but actually I can do it sort of. So let's put the big one. So one, two, two, three, four, five and a bit. And now let's match this angle. It was five and a bit. So one, two, three, four, five and a bit. Okay. So it is an equilateral triangle. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. Let's keep it. So we have one piece. Um, let's make a folder here. Um, create a folder. Triangles. Is gonna be 
error. It's going to be error because I'm going to change the material. It's going to be red uh, error. There we go. One down, one to go. Um, if, uh, no, uh, uh, but yeah, prefab, unpack completely. Uh, it's going to be unsolved mat. There we go. Salt. Delete this as well. Uh, we have to make sure they are in the yeah, they're exactly how we want them in the default position with the with the uh, with the straight piece on the left and the unsolved is the same. Yeah. Okay. So now let's assign them. So error to error renderer and this one solved. The cell size is a is a tricky one. Uh, I think we will need to split this into width and height. Uh, here. The width with okay. And what the hell is the height? What the hell is the height? Uh, or the width? No, the height is gonna be one, and the width. What's the width? What actually is it? One. Let's make sure that this has a height of one. Let's make a cube. No, it doesn't have a height of one. That's awesome. That, that, that's just. That's just great. It's not height of like God damn it. Um there's no way for me to know what the height of this is. Yet. Um I can approximate it I think. Not really actually. Oh no, yeah, I can, but not here. This card, I need to do it here. So, reset. Come on, from the top, there we go. So we have this, let's make a cube. No, let's make a plane. Um, Let's do 90 here. Fine, minus 90. This should be cutting it right in the middle. Yeah, it looks like it. So now, should be able to move this. Right about. Yeah, that's that's perfect enough. So eight for eight. So what's that? One point six five six. Where did I get a five from? That's a nine. Not crazy, right? Yeah, 1696. Okay, so that's one side. And I'm not gonna do this by hand because now it's actually tricky. So, six, six times 1.696 uh, plus 0. Point 8, 8 times 0 0.848 everything square root and this is our width and we need to make this a oh it is a float already my bad I thought it was an int let's just copy actually the, the, the whole damn thing so let's copy this 
get those. Maybe we're gonna need them later. Uh, so this is gonna be the cell width and the cell height. So that is uh, 1.696. Why I wrote 696 there? 696, 696, yeah. And 848. 848, 848, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now let's try to make this work. Uh, we're not going to deal with rotation actually. Um, actually, yeah, that's actually it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's going to have zero rotation on everything. Cell size won't work here. Cell size is gonna be here, so X is gonna be cell width, and Y it's gonna be cell height. Okay, let's try it for now. I have to do some other things as well. Um, a local scale, we'll have to change the scale on X, I think. There's gonna be new vector three of... Of what? So if it's one, we wanna flip it. It's gonna be... Actually, let's do it the dumb way. So flip, if you flip is equal to zero then it's zero otherwise it's no it's one otherwise it's minus one and zero and zero and i think that should do it Hope. okay let's make a but actually, let's use the... No, we don't have to add anything. Yeah. No, we have to add at least one cell. Let's add one cell. Let's, let's reuse those cells. Um, cell type. Cell error. Uh, cell... Unsolved, and I still and let's make connections. Uh, so connection, connection, dummy, and both of them are gonna have. Connection dummy passed on all their uh, sides. Uh, so cell error and cell unsolved. Two renderers, cell error with error, cell unsolved with unsolved. Actually, let's no. Actually, let's let's duplicate this. Dummy. Serial. Dummy mat. Yeah, let's do it like this. This will make it better to to actually distinguish in. Uh, the actual error and unsolved ones and the dummy one. Okay, so let's save this and maybe, maybe if we hit play, we're gonna see something cool. Or maybe nothing's gonna happen because something's wrong.
Who does serialize? This one. Big serializing the cells. Yeah. Okay. Um. Great. Uh, let's add a connection to the other parts as well, even though it's not going to be used, just so we don't have the errors. But something happened. I don't know what happened, but something has definitely happened. Uh, uh, triangular grid renderer. And let's of this let's get rid of this as well so we're going to increase the the size of the grid what oh Duh. We need to put one and one here, not zero for the scale. Hello. Well, not exactly what I wanted, but so this. is I think it should be here. This should be here. This one should be here. That looks like something. But obviously it's not. So let's debug this. Actually, I think it might be easier if we change those things. Let's try to change the pivot of the... I think we can do it. So this... Definitely not the center. So, what's going on? That's not the center either. Um, Okay, doesn't work. Uh, let's try something else. Um,
Very much confused. Also, it is there. What the fuck? Now it's there. Okay, now it does. Yes. Okay. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I know how to deal with this. So, on the X, we have to subtract flip. Ah, that's gonna work. So, in case it is flipped, well, that's better <laughs> now the problem seems to be that uh, yeah, our our height calculation was totally wrong and i probably did something terribly wrong because it's it seemed to me that that, I, that i've done something wrong but I, I don't really understand what oh i'm stupid oh no no that's that is a right triangle so Well, I'm wrong. Um, no. I need to find this. Oh, okay. I I, I butchered the, the 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 formula. What I should have done is. gonna be c squared minus b squared square root of that yeah okay i've totally butchered that but i can salvage it hopefully so uh this is the side so this is c this is gonna be b will it be just like like this do i have to put a minus sign here actually Would it be that? Well, hello. <laughs> That's not perfect, but my 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 calculation is not perfect there. But that's okay. So that's one thing. Uh, and the second one is. Well, we have to divide by two because we wanna we wanna go in increments of half a height. Hello. We have our triangular grid. Holy shit. And it looks like a fish. <laughs> uh, let's make bigger. Uh, bigger. Uh, bigger grid. There we go. Now, isn't that lovely? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. So now we have a way of visualizing the grid. Now let's implement this triangular grid and make this be awesome. Okay, so the, the, the thing that we have to implement is this for each neighbor. Which simple but it is not necessarily simple 
Um, I mean, it kinda is, but not really. Um, let's get to the square grid. Let's snatch the. Where is it? Where are you? I'm blind to see it. Yeah, this one. Let's snatch this. Private but public pool is um, actually need this in our calculation, so I'm gonna move that that thing over from here, so this. I'm going to take it from here. Actually, no. Just do it like this. So if it's... Uh, it will be switched if it's one. Basically. And actually, let's... Do it like this. And here, cell dot no grid dot or grid dot should still be flipped. Oh, and here it's used as a yeah, it comes as a boolean. So if flip, then minus one, otherwise one. And here, if Leap one, otherwise zero. Let's put some parentheses or some more parentheses like this. Okay. What else? What else? Okay. Okay. Um fortunately The north and the south neighbor are going to be the same as for the grid. Uh, because, yeah, if we're, let's say, at this cell, the north cell is just going to be the one above. So the, so the previous cell in the, in the list. And uh, the next one is going to be the next one in the list. Only the, only the horizontal, call it horizontal uh, neighbor will have to to check based on the um, on, uh, uh, on the fact that the the, the the cell is flipped or not. So north uh, get a neighbor north get neighbor south get neighbor age from horizontal. Think to get from here to here, we might just have to subtract. Let's do it on a three by three. Let's let's try it here. I think we just have to subtract the the height. Might just be like that. Um. So let's do three by three again. Okay. So this is a three by three. Three by three. Uh. Let's let's say that we want the neighbor of this. So, so this is index zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 
we uh yeah we have to subtract the, the we have to subtract the height Let, let's make the height uh, or the, let's make the width of four just to be sure but uh yeah that won't change anything so zero one two three and four this is index four so now if we want the its neighbor we have to look uh, so it, this case is the neighbor and in the left so so we would have to subtract the height so so you would have to subtract three so this is index four three two one so we subtracted three and got to index one and this is the neighbor that we want and based on on the fact that it, so if it's not flipped we're gonna subtract the height and if it's flipped we're gonna add the height it is actually way simpler than I thought. So height times uh, should cell be flipped cell. And if it should be flipped, uh, then we're going to multiply by one, otherwise by minus one. So basically subtract the height. And I think that's it. I think that, that that that's everything that we need to do. And that is weird. It is weird that it is that simple. Okay. Now, uh, we have to do some more thinking here actually about how we can check for I don't need this anymore so let's get rid of that and now let's see how we how 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 did you say we're gonna set up those uh so here it is uh let's do something so we said that uh uh, rotate left 90 like this okay so we're gonna use this side as north let's take the the north neighbor so we would have a cell like this so we would have to check uh the ace the ace east connection and the b's uh west connection this doesn't make any sense it, it i mean it doesn't make sense because we're doing this in a hacky way um make it um make it make sense uh, when we implement the game directly. So one down, two more to go. So the south is going to be the reverse. The first one is going to be the west. And the other one is going to be the east. East. E uh, this is west. This is actually I have to to do the, the reverse of what is above so west here uh, and east here oh now oh this is actually simple this is north everywhere yeah this is north everywhere in the horizontal direction Okay. Could it be that we've just implemented the triangular grid? Not sure. Well, let's try it. Um, let's make some more cells. Um. Let's see how 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 can we do this or or what cells should we? Let's first make a, a cell empty. 
empty. We're gonna get up the unsolved one. Uh, dummy is gonna be empty. Okay. Where the hell is that blue? Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't work now. But what? Um. Oh, now it's white. Oh, now it's... Why the hell is it white? Because it is in a solved... Yeah, it is considered solved because it only has one cell. Uh, yeah. Uh, my bad. Yeah, so this is empty. And I know why it was blue. I, I didn't know why it was blue before, but now, now I know. Um, so, cell empty. Connection empty. Connection full. Create cell. Uh, cell. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna connect the site. So we're gonna do northeast. So it's gonna be empty in the west and whatever. In the south as well, and then full everywhere else. Unfortunately, I haven't hooked up the rotate, so I'm gonna just duplicate this and just do it manually um, for now. I am basically, yeah, I'm gonna rotate them manually uh, east west. So this is gonna be full, and this is gonna be empty. Okay, uh, let's the weight of one to each and every one of them. Uh, and let's let's add another one. Let's call it full. And it's gonna have full in each direction. Okay. So now let's try to make uh, uh, the renderers for them. Let's unpack completely. And I'm gonna add, I think, uh, three cubes. Obviously, we're gonna make them way, 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 way smaller. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna keep one there. Oh, the. Okay, let's add another material. Uh, shader uh, material smoothness, no smoothness. Um, one twenty, right? Minus one twenty. So let's call this pool. Let's unpack it. Back completely. Oh. Let's just disable them uh, systematically. So this would be. Ah, god damn it! No, that's that's not right. I don't want them from the from the uh, corners. I want them from the edges. So yeah, this is 
right? Let's delete the full. Um, we actually have to rotate them by. Uh, ah, that sucks. Ninety. This should be thirty or minus thirty. That the other one might uh, has to be thirty. Okay. like this so this will be full oh. back completely this will be uh, east west this is gonna be So doesn't make sense. Nope. 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 It's still not right. Rewind. 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 Still not. It's not what. It's still not what I wanted. Um. This is getting annoying. Um. Let's just deal with with one of uh, one of it. Uh, let's make this point five. Uh, I think it needs to be more than point five, though. Yeah. So it needs to be 60. Whatever, minus 60 here. It needs to be here. This needs to be 60 and it has to be here. This, finally, this has to be zero and it has to be here somewhere. Something like this. That looks about right. Okay. Now ah, it is exactly what I want. My God. Uh, I think I've been staring at this for, for quite a time. Yeah, already three. Almost four hours. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna take a break. This for sure. But we're gonna be actually done with this after. So, yeah, okay. So this is the full one finally. Unpack completely. Uh, just disable this one. This is a northwest. West. This is northeast. And the last one, finally, this is uh, east west. Okay, now let's assign them. 
So cell empty. Uh, we're gonna have uh, three more. Uh, let's just add them by hand. So east west. Oh no, four more. East west, uh, north east, north west, and full. Five in total. Empty east west. East, north, west, and full. East, west, north, east, north, west, and full. Where is it here? Now, could it be that we've actually done it and this is gonna work? No fucking clue. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we might want to solve the grid you know that might make it work holy fuck <laughs> holy fuck oh my god it's actually working holy shit Make the grid bigger. Let's make it uh, 20 by 20. Damn. Doesn't look exactly like I wanted it to look, but uh, I can still change the algorithm. Because right now, right now. It's 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 very primitive. Change it to take other things into consideration. Um, holy smokes! Uh, let's try to increase um let's try to increase the weight on northeast let's put a three here and let's create let's increase the empty uh, to a weight of five it does not better. No, because this is also a northeast, and I don't want it that. Okay, but anyway, uh, it's starting to take to, to to take form. I like it.
Cool. Am I not wrapping horizontally? No. This doesn't wrap. This doesn't. Oh, uh, could it be that I've done them the other way around? Yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in this uh, or, or or for the triangular grid, I've I've laid out the, the the cells in a different way. So for the for the for the square grid, I play them in rows, and here they are laid out in columns. So the calculations don't work out anymore. Uh, grid Y. It's, it should be x times height plus y. And here, wrapping it horizontally, um, no, that still holds up. I think that's the only thing that, that needed to change. I think. Let's see. Now I think it should wrap horizontally and not vertically. Shit. Now it's broken. This is more height. Divide by height. What else do I have to change? Uh, I'm not sure what I have to change. I am not sure what I have to do. Three by three. Yet.
the fuck this is divided by height this is mod right hopefully that's the problem yeah that was it let's try a couple of times yeah that's fine cool uh let's try to duplicate the group so now it should be It's better. It's not. That's not correct. That is not correct. Okay, there are more issues. Um, so X. Times height plus Y. Yeah, that's that should be the way. Of getting the cell. Um. That should be fine. God damn it. I think I made some I may need some more cell types. Yeah, I'm not sure why it doesn't work, but that's not that important right now. So the most important thing is that we've made the, we've actually made them, uh, we made this work. Uh, actually, there is one thing that I want to change. Let me remove all the uh, box colliders. They're quite annoying. Actually, this. Uh, actually, let's screw that. Um, yeah, this does have a mesh collider, but uh, yeah, save. We can't see it. It doesn't have a gizmo. Uh, northeast, northwest. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, so this is still not right because like this should be, shouldn't be possible like this this piece here shouldn't be connected to empty one because it has this connection so it's still not perfect but it's good that it works with um triangular grids let's 
actually let's try let's try and see if uh, the square grid work uh, I mean still works it should still work I mean it is frozen so it's doing something yep 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 this one still works even with its errors but uh yeah actually let's get rid of that let's do roads only this works but I mean, it still works cool and this one which is actually actually this is the one that I should test it, not the original implementation yeah, yeah 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 this works with the square grid cool Okay, so there are some problems with the. Oh, want to click uh, with the with the triangular uh, grid, but it kind of works. So yeah, this is this is good. This is actually nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna stop here with this. Um, let's stop the timer. Yeah, we're gonna stop here with this and also the stream. We are in a pretty good position. Um, looking at the results, I have to think about. Uh, I have to think of about how I want to um, modify the the algorithm to, to, to better suit my needs for the for the game because because how it is like now it it's not I mean those, those lines don't don't look anything like like vines you might make them look like uh, uh, um, what was I trying to say you you might make them look like like cracks in the walls, but uh, vines no, they're they they're not uh, they don't look or, or organic at all. So I have to think about that. Um, how can I how can I change the algorithm to to to, to be more to to give more organic results? Cause it's not it's not the the, the the fault of the tiles. There, there have to be some more constraints in the uh, in the algorithm, in the grid itself. So, but yeah. But even so, it it actually looks it look it looks good. Let's try to do something. Actually. Um, let's get rid of the. That would empty material. Let's try to make it transparent. Let's just get rid of it. Ah, god damn it. There's not a triangular one selected. Well, that's not completely transparent now. What the hell? Uh, because of specular highlights. Yep. Lectures? Why is there still a haze? I 
think it might be just my imagination. No, it's totally not my imagination. There is a difference between those calls. Maybe maybe you can't see it on stream, but I can totally see the the edge of the triangle there. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's really not important. I just wanted to see them without the without the, the, the without those things. Okay. Um Anyway, yeah. So after to 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 change the the constraints a little bit more to be more to look more more organic, and maybe think about how I can do the the tiles to make them look more interesting. Because maybe I can, or maybe to do tiles instead of having like they are right now where they they are connect the the edges maybe i have to do let's see maybe i have to do this but are like this you know or like or pieces that are filled with um uh, um that are filled uh, with, uh, with 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 the vines, and not only passing through. But yeah, yeah, that, um, I, I'll have to do that uh, some other time. Uh, yeah, but uh, either way, this is, is uh, good progress. This is actually good progress. Because now having this, now I. Uh, iterate on it and make it more as uh, more suitable for the, for the game because this this was actually the the end goal of the of the research but actually first it was to understand the, the algorithm and second it was uh, I needed a way of testing this and making uh, I mean trying to make it work for the game or see if it can actually be used in the game. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to stop the, st the stream here. And um, we're going to continue next week. Um, Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're gonna continue next week, uh, probably with this. I'm, uh, I might, I might do just uh, some some work on the side, uh, about uh, to, to think about how to, how we can make this more more organic. But uh, uh, we shall see. But yeah, uh, this is it. See you next stream. Thanks for being here, and yeah, have a have a good weekend. Bye bye.